Hello Sandy, you have a beautiful exhibition here at the Festival of Quilts. Uh, could you tell me something about the pieces of work that you've got exhibited here? In 2016, I made a collection of quilts to go into the Jen Jones Quilt Centre in Lampeter and all the quilts are based on a paisley motif that she had in an antique quilt that was given to her. And Mrs Thomas made this quilt. In 1901, she won the prize for the best quilting in Thrilefli with it. And I was absolutely fascinated with the pattern and I made 23 cock quilts and a pram quilt and they were exhibited in Lampeter. I still had ideas, so I decided what I wanted to do next was to take the paisley and play with it and take the middle filling out and use lots of different fillings in it and still play with changing the shape and how it worked around the pattern. In the first set of quilts I'd used a Welsh trail pattern which is a very traditional quilting motif and I decided to play with that as well. So the result now is another 25 quilts, none of them the same as the first 23 and they've all got different motifs and different paisleys and I've just had a great lot of fun playing with them. And all your work is hand done isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If I've done patchwork I have machine pieced it. I absolutely hate hand quilting over seams and the Welsh tradition is really more whole cloth than anything else so I prefer to do the whole cloth. But I have been good, I have done some strippy quilts and I've done one patchwork quilt and even made two Welsh flannel quilts which are really thick and heavy and difficult to quilt. So some of the fabrics that you use have a beautiful sheen to them. Could you tell me something about the fabrics? If you have a shiny fabric with a whole cloth quilt it actually shows the pattern better. So they are really my preferred fabrics because it shows off the quilting. I use Shelmer's satin, which is a polyester satin, which is really slippery and horrible, but you have to stabilise it to make it sewable. I've used silk, I've used silk satin, and I've used cotton sateen. All of those are shiny, but I've also used cotton. I've used pattern cotton, plain cotton, and even some fabric from Saudi Arabia because a friend of mine brought some dish dash fabric back with her and gave me that, and that's sort of semi-shiny. To be authentically Welsh, I've also bought Welsh wool from Melon Tyvee, which is probably the only place that still does traditional Welsh flannel. You have to felt it first. It doesn't hold any markers very easily. It's thick, and it's horrible to quilt, but old quilts look lovely when you've done them. <laughs> so I've persevered with it. Your hand quilting is very even. Um, how many stitches to the inch do you generally do? That is a very, very awkward question to ask because it really depends on the fabric you've got, not only on the front but also on the back, and the wadding that you've got inside. Because if you've got cotton wadding in there, it's going to be harder to quilt, by hand anyway, and then your stitches are going to be bigger. I don't actually worry about the size of my stitches, it's getting them even that counts. So on the flannel quilts that are thick and nasty, I've got big stitches, but they're still even. And on the silk quilts, I've got tiny stitches that are still even. But it's a very difficult question to say how many, because it does really depend on what you're using. Do you make a lot of smaller pieces these days? I've made smaller pieces for a purpose, because I wanted the same size quilts as I did for Jen in 2016 and the gallery that I exhibit there is quite small and I would only get three big quilts in there but I actually prefer making big quilts because they're more of a challenge so when I finish making these small ones because I've still got ten more to do for next year after that I'm back to doing the double bed size one again. What threads do you use when you hand stitch? Any machine quilting thread. Do you use cottons or polyester? I use cotton. Polyester is a bit slippery and I don't particularly like it. It also means you can't iron it if you need to because it will melt. So I use normally, it depends on the colour of the quilt and what thread I can match it to. But Metler quilting thread, Aurifil 28, King Tut and Wirelai, I use them all. And how long have you been sewing? I made my first quilt in 1990. It was patchwork. I didn't know anything about quilting and when I finished the top I thought I'd finished the quilt and then I found that I was only halfway. I was gutted. 
at uh, a finished up that actually I much preferred the quilting to the patchwork. And when I first started, it was a lot of pieces. And as I progressed, there were fewer pieces and more plain bits. And now I've got to completely plain bits, which is much easier. How long have you been teaching hand quilting? I think I've been teaching since about 1997. I won the champion quilt at what was then the Great British Quilt Festival and was told, if you are a champion quilt, you've got to be teaching. And I got thrown to the lions. I never had any intention of doing it. (laughs) Can people book you for workshops? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I am slowing down. I don't thunder up and down the country anywhere near as much as I used to because I've got so much fabric to use up and I've got quilts to make so I do do I still teach I don't teach as many classes as I used to but the one thing that I'm not stopping teaching is how to design Welsh quilts and how to hand quilt because I think they're both really important so where can people see your work if they want to see some more of it I will have some of these paisleys and new paisleys they're going to Jen Jones in Lampeter to the Welsh Court Centre and they will be there from May, of, May the 1st till I think sometime in October. There might also be some more Paisleys going to Llanidloes to the Minerva Centre because they're celebrating their 25th anniversary in 2020 and are considering doing an exhibition and they've asked if they can have some Paisleys too. The wadding in your quilts, you've mentioned that you use wool. Do you use any other any, any other material? Would you use a polyester? Would you use uh, a cotton? I would not use cotton. Cotton is wonderful to machine quilt, but it's not very nice to hand quilt. I normally use Hobbs heirloom wool because I think it's the best wadding in the universe. And it does machine and hand quilt, but I only hand quilt it. I also sometimes use Hobbs poly down, but wool is my preference. Thank you very much, Sandy. Thank you.